Okay, so let's do this problem. What's the critical angle for the total internal reflection for diamond? Okay, uh, well, what's uh, what we did when we spoke about the reflection? Uh, we said uh, if we have a source in somewhat of an optically dense medium and we start increasing theta i that is the angle of incidence and we gradually increase it further and further so uh, the uh, amplitude of coefficients r parallel and r perpendicular start to increase as theta i increases and as a result the transmittance components Trans transmittance amplitudes will appropriately both decrease and so um, the transmittance angle will start the or the transmitted angle will start to become is, is actually greater than the incident angle and we approach so we know from Snell's law and we know from Snell's law that uh, an incident times sine theta incident has to equal to n transmitted times sine theta transmitted now as you increase the incident angle of the incidence angle the transmitted ray uh, starts to uh, become more and more tangent to the boundary and as it starts getting closer and closer to that tangency border uh, more of the energy will show up in the reflected beam so at some point when theta t equal 90 so when when this becomes completely tangent so that the angle between the normal and the boundary is and the angle of the angle transmitted becomes 90 degrees sine theta t will equal to 1 and this guy goes away and so we get what we call the critical angle so theta i is so this is the critical angle of incidence upon which the transmitted angle becomes very 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 close to 90 and so Snell's law becomes sine theta i or what we call theta critical theta c is equal to n t over n i or what we call NTI, the ratio of the index of refractions to each other. So the critical angle is the special value for the incidence angle of refraction for which the transmitted angle of refraction is 90 degrees. Uh, now, if we actually go any greater than so this is this is gonna get almost all the transmitted angle at 90 degrees if we go anywhere greater than this all the energy will basically be reflected back all the incoming energy will, will be reflected back into the incident medium and this is the process that we call total internal reflection so this is the minimum value so theta critical is the minimum value of theta that we can actually get that total internal reflection phenomenon and so now for this simple question we can figure it out so theta c will be inverse sine nt over n i and so this is inverse sine one transmitted in the air and uh, I is uh, 
uh, the uh, uh, the uh, angle of in the uh, index of refraction of diamond I believe is like 2.42 and so we get fricta C to equal if we put this on the calculator we take inverse sine Four point four degrees. Uh, now it says, uh, "What if anything does the critical angle have to do with the luster of a well-cut diamond?" Um, so the so the diamond refracts the light back out when we get to that total internal reflection, right? Uh, it refracts the light back out and so it looks very brilliant that does it